It's deer season, so we brought in Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Representative John Coffey to tell us all the hunting safety tips you need to know for this season. Each hunting season uh, for different species, there are different uh, dates for certain equipment. So there are different, sometimes there's different seasons for archery equipment, sometimes for uh, muzzle loaders or black powder and modern gun. Uh, it is the responsibility of each hunter to read the rule book and you can pick those up sporting goods stores or you may go online at fw.ky.gov. You can even download it onto your smartphone and it will tell you by species what is in. It is that person, whomever may hunt, it is their responsibility to understand the rules and the seasons. The rules are designed um, to manage the resource and also to keep people safe. Actually, they're state laws. For example, if you are born after January 1st, 1975, and you are required to buy a hunting license, you are supposed to take a hunter education course. Right now, uh, bow hunting for deer in most counties. Each county has a zone. Zones go through one, two, three, and four. So um, each hunter should look at the, the map and pick the zone and then match the zone to the dates. Anyone that thinks that there is a, uh, a violation going on can report um, to 1-800-25-ALERT. That's uh, normally called the poacher hotline. It's totally anonymous. Uh, you'll, you'll get complaints about, or at least I do, as a general fish and wildlife person is someone not getting permission to be on someone's land. So for all you folks out there, please ask permission before you get on private property. The number one rule of, um, for me of uh, hunting would be just, hey, make good choices. So um, following the law and to, uh, part of the law is the, the, for the hunter education. So um, when you take hunter education, you not only learn equipment safety, which would be your guns and your bows and arrows, but you also learn survival, uh, ethics, uh, wildlife management. Within the safety part of that, treat every gun as if it were loaded all the time. So that means you would never point the muzzle in an unsafe direction, not at any person or anything you do not intend to shoot. Most incidents or accidents happen because of either carelessness or lack of skill. So the way you would get rid of the lack of skill is take the course, learn the rules, follow the rules. Certain seasons, certain um, animals are colorblind. And the hunter orange or blaze orange color, handy dandy little hat and a vest, uh, when you wear that it is visible for hundreds of yards. And there aren't any animals that look that color uh, using your binoculars and you're scanning the woods during uh, firearm season for deer, you should be able to pick out another uh, person that is hunting. Understand, however, everyone in the woods is not hunting. So you should identify your target 110% and know what's behind it before you pull the trigger. After you pull the trigger, it's too late. Probably don't need to wear the color white, color brown, or the color gray during firearm season for deer. One of our biggest uh, accident causes in archery season is falling from tree stands. So always wear a safety harness, climbing, uh, have it attached to the tree, not just to your stand. So attach it, have it on while you're climbing up and coming down and also use a haul rope to haul your equipment. You don't want to try to climb a tree with one hand full of something because that's going to cause you to fall. Coffee directs anyone interested in hunting to the Hunting Field Guide as well as the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources website. He also mentions that children under the age of 12 are exempt from the hunting courses so long as they go out in the field with an adult. Keep these tips in mind during deer season. For WBON-TV, I'm Marissa Hempel.